Welcome to the video. This video is brought to you by DrewNerider.com. If you do want a bike buyer's guide, my coaching tips, get deals like this, let me know. So we've got a question here from the coaching group. Jason was looking for a bike, and we're in Toronto, Ontario here. So we're going to have a look. Some, some people were saying that bikes are so expensive in Toronto, like secondhand bikes are selling more than brand new bikes and the brand new prices, etc. That's not true at all. <laughs> And I'll prove it right here, right now. This is a beautiful little Trekker Monda, one of my favorite bikes. Uh, they do have some bottom bracket issues, some of them, if they're really worn. So I only recommend the mint condition of Mondas. But here we have a near mint condition, 52 centimeter Trekker Monda, 105, 5800 group set, works great. This is, I've ridden this exact bike before. They're great riding bike. They're a fantastic bike. Um, this one's in mint condition, so it wouldn't have any ring of death unlikely to have any fork steer damage but we still would want to confirm the fork isn't cracked under the steerer with an inspection we want to see that and so this is selling for was selling for 2700 dreaming that was eight weeks ago two months ago if it hasn't sold in the first week the price is higher than market value now we have here no one's going to buy it at the moment well unlikely to buy it so then it's dropped down to 2100 canadian aussie dollar <laughs> canadian aussie dollar it's about the same canadian dollar aussie dollar Roughly, give or take ten percent. Still too expensive. There's no way this bike's going to sell for two thousand bucks. This bike, I would say, market value is going to be eight hundred Canadian dollars to twelve hundred. So between eight and twelve hundred, I would offer this person a thousand bucks. But say I want to know the fork's okay. Can you please, you know, take the fork apart and send me some photos? Make sure it will get inspected by a bike shop. There's no cracks there. All right, these things are lightweight. They do crack. They're easily over torqued, etc. So you have to prove the bike isn't cracked. They've proven that it's got a receipt, so that's good. So crash, crack, bent, stolen. We know this bike's not stolen, they've got a receipt, that's good. Now we've got to find out, is it cracked? You know, has someone over tightened the seat post and cracked it? And then it's just, you know, then it's just a group set. So I love this person a thousand bucks. Let's go to other bikes here. I'm just gonna type in Specialized Tarmac, uh, which is a nice bike. This person here, Asking $2,700 for the frame. No way. Dreaming, man. This would sell in Australia. The frame is rim brake. All right. It's rim brake. It's an SL7. Uh, sorry, SL, SL7. It's an SL5. I'm assuming it's genuine. There are a lot of fake S Works frames out there. This does look genuine. It could be a fake, but I'm going to say it's genuine. Um, $2,700. That's dreaming, man. Absolutely dreaming. Again, is the fork cracked? Does it have the ring of death? Is the bottom brackets an OSB B? So BB30, does it have ovalization where it's worn out and there's play? Things like that. Um, yeah, frame and fork. And what's it worth? Current price. It's not disc brake. It's very old. It's a very funky colorway. I've, a lot of people think it's ugly. I've, I like it, but a lot of people won't like this paint job. So I think this is the Iran style they did, Colombian. I'm going to say it's going to be worth 500 to 1,000 Canadian dollars, right? And you can take any specialized deal and ask them if they want to buy it, and they wouldn't touch it. <laughs> they wouldn't touch it for peanuts. That just goes to show you how quickly bikes devalue. Like, take your S-Works back to the shop and ask them how much they'd buy it for you. Oh, sorry, we don't uh, buy second-hand bikes. That's right, because they're worth not much at all. Let's go back here. So what else we got here? <laughs> Let's have a laugh. This was this person was asking ninety five hundred second hand carbon bars, <laughs> asking premium price. Serious inquires only. A lot of S Works owners are a little bit douchey like that. They don't get devaluation of product. They would try and sell an iPhone six for maybe a thousand bucks. Bikes devalue as quick as mobile phones do, uh, if not quicker, especially because a bike can be cracked, you know, without even knowing it. So asking 7.3, rim brakes is an SL5. <laughs> the old generation DI2 Dura-Ace. This person's absolutely dreaming. This bike, what's the market value? Assuming no cracks or bottom bracket overalization. It's got some Rovales on there. They're worth a couple hundred bucks. It's going to be worth, it's got, oh, it's, not, it's, it's not even DI2. <laughs> this person is dreaming. This is mechanical Durace group set, which is in mint condition as it is, you know, it's 11 speed, mechanical, rim brake. I like it, but it's worth pennies, man. This bike's worth $1,500 max. 
1500 Canadian max. This person's absolutely dreaming. If you bought this bike for 73 and you got experienced rider friends, they're going to laugh at you. They're going to go, how much did you pay for a bike with no warranty that may have been crash cracked? Dude, dreaming, mate. Dreaming. Too much money. All right, let's go for another one here. We've got this. I'll say this, this guy's selling the whole bike here for four nine DI2. I mean, that's you know two and a half grand cheaper than the same bike we just saw, but it still will not sell. Final price drop, price non-negotiable. It's always negotiable. <laughs> There's no dude, you're not going to sell it. It's eight weeks ago, man. Five, not, dude, you're dreaming, man. You're dreaming. DI2 bike, max, max price. $1,500 for DI2. Um, so, so I should say minimum $1,500 you get for this, max probably two grand. If you, spend, if you pay more than 2,000 Canadian for this, you're dreaming. I got an S, uh, Super 6 the other day, legit bike, not stolen, um, in Adelaide for $1,500 Aussie, you know? And it was, had that's done some miles, but otherwise, okay. The fork, we'll have to fix up the fork a bit, but 1,500 bucks. Could have got it cheaper, but guys, nice guy. Fifteen hundred is fair. We're both happy with that. Um, but yeah, so fifteen hundred, two thousand bucks for this one. What else we got here? Got a yeah. This guy's selling a frame set. Seven dream, 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 and seven hours. <laughs> this is fourteen weeks ago, bro. These things devalue so quick. How much will I get for my SL sevens? Not much at all. Not much at all. Uh, let's keep going for. You know, look at this thing here. This would be this would be the heaviest Colnago in the world, man. Look at that. Di two, like it's just, just yeah, heavy, man. Three and a half. Yeah, I mean, again, people are dreaming. This bike was bought maybe five years ago, hardly been ridden. Looks brand new, and people are thinking, oh, I can, I can, I can that bike I've never ridden. I can, I can get almost market value for it. Like I can get a lot of money for it. Market value, man. People are dreaming how much they're going to get for it. Look at this one here, a ten-year-old Roubaix. Asking three eight, absolute dreaming man. Mechanical cam pad group set, you know mismatched front wheels, potentially cracked fork, potentially overlies BB. Like dreaming max, max a thousand Canadian, max mismatched wheels. Like no one's gonna buy that. I shouldn't say no one, but you know it devalues it so much. I would. I don't care about mismatched wheels, but. I'm a bit of a fruitcake, you know, so, but yeah, it's just dreaming, man, dreaming, man, dreaming, it's got chips out of it, it's got chip carbon, chip carbon frame for three, dreaming, bro, dreaming, and again, I'm not dissing anyone in these videos, this is just my honest market value, you know, go to any bike shop who's honest with you, you know, most bike shops won't, they just laugh at you when you walk out the store, but, um, you know, look at this, Come on, Savella here. Let's got another specialized here. This, these are. I mean, I'm a fan of specialized time. That's not that a nice riding bike. This one here, three thousand bucks. <laughs> this one's like from two thousand and seven. Two thousand seven. It's got big crack. Uh, not crack. Well, potential cracks on the top tube. This dude's absolutely dreaming, man. Dreaming. It's got those funky looking Rovar wheels. Get spare parts of those. Yay or nay. It looks to be in. Your average condition, three. It's worth five hundred bucks max, max five hundred bucks. I just hose it down with the hose water there, max five hundred bucks. Assuming that frame isn't that's 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 not good. That for me that frame's worth fifty bucks. That you know that could be a, a very catastrophic failure on that damage on the top tube. Fifty dollar frame. I'm gonna say three to five hundred bucks. The wheels a hundred bucks. Fifty bucks for the frame group set. Hundred bucks. BB30 cranks, good luck selling those. 10 speed Shimano Durace, good luck selling those for much. Um, you know, three to 400 bucks for this bike, as is. Tires are flat, 3,000 bucks. Dreaming, bro. Absolutely dreaming. Let's keep it on the Specialized here, because the Specialized is a very international brand. People understand what the deal is. Um, good, SOX Tarmac. <laughs> this is an SL6. I like the color of that one. Um, SRAM, ETAP, Angst. It's just night. It's just dreaming, mate. Dreaming, people. You're dreaming. What's this worth? As a current group set, heavy as frame, the grands. Assume it's not cracked. Wheels, disc. So the you know, 800 bucks group set grand. So probably around 3,000 bucks you might get for this bike. You might get for this bike 3,000 bucks. 
Again, take it back to the dealer and say, what would you guys buy it off me for? <laughs> or what would be your trade-in price? Most, most wouldn't even want to touch it. Oh, so we don't deal in carbon, second-hand carbon fiber bikes. Why is that? Because um, they're really pain in the ass. Here we go. This is a wow. This is a this is a beast. Wow, mint condition looks like it's five thousand bucks. Absolute dreamers in Toronto. There. See, Harley, the prices are very expensive. No, 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 these aren't selling. These aren't selling. People are probably buying bikes and trying to flip them and realizing that they're going to get you know. There's there's no way you're going to get five thousand bucks for this. Absolutely no way. You'd be a sucker. This bike, what's it worth? Oh, that's in good condition. But again, it's 2008, 2000, actually 2006, I think. 10 speed Dura Ace, looks in decent condition. Nice bike, this is our nice bike, I have one of these. Oh, but again, it's a fork crack. It's got the gel Steiner one. It's got the Bar Mac thing on there. They had a bit of an issue with maybe recall. Um, nice wheels, those were available. It's pretty skinny rim, but in the last lightweight wheel. This would be a very nice bike to ride. I'd buy this bike. What size is it? Oh, they, don't even know what, they don't know what size it is. So it's a rich person's bike, I'd, I dare say. Looks like a 52. Um, but yeah, what's it worth? 500 to a grand. You know, a grand. A grand would be fair. Very nice bike for a thousand bucks. Very outdated, but easy to get parts for. One inch and eight steerer, so not, no worries there. Um, and a standard steerer, not a funky tarmac steerer. Non proprietary, 27.2 posts. You know, be just, yeah, nice bike. I'd offer him a grand. This would be a very, very nice bike. Five grand. <laughs> Dream on. Dream on. It's, it's, it's 5,000 bucks. It's more expensive than this one, which is an SL5 with SRAM Red. You know, like, still dreaming though. 4.3, dreaming. Nine weeks, hasn't sold. If it doesn't sell in the first week, it is too expensive. 52 centimeter. So dreaming, dreaming. Um, here we go. Look at this one here. Look at this one here. This is, wow. I think this was in a video from ages ago. There, here we go. This is more proof. This this is an incredible bike. Um, incredible bike, this one. Is it, what condition is it in? Has it got any cracks in it? We don't know, but these SL3s are incredible bikes. They do have a proprietary fork, so be careful with that. If you do have any fork damage, getting a spare one, you know, it's an issue. De definitely devalues the bike massively. Shram Red 10 speed Gen 1, great group set. It's got you know, non compact cranks. Wheels are okay. 2 1, um, you know, a fair deal. You know, a fair deal. Cost 7,000 bucks, yep, for sure. 10,000 bucks. You know, like, I would, um, yeah. Wow, it's a nice bike. I love these ones. Very, very nice. Wow, oh, it's mint condition. Damn. Damn. This, this is a. This is a not a, this is a, a killer bike in killer condition. Hardly been ridden. Doesn't mean it's not cracked though. Doesn't mean it's not over tightened and, and talked improperly and cracked. But it's a killer bike. And look at that. Two thousand Canadian. You'd get this for a grand. This this has been listed for I remember doing a video maybe six months ago on this bike. Yeah, this is a sick bike, man. I would buy this bike for a, a grand. Beautiful bike, beautiful bike. There you go, you know what I mean? Like, people out there, people, 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 the deals are there. Just have to negotiate this person. Don't come across like a douchebag like me. Just establish a bit of rapport, have a bit of a chat, maybe test a bike and say, it's a really nice bike. I can, you know, I can give you grand. Have a think about it, see if you can get two grand for it. But hey, I can give you grand. Let us know. I'll come pick it up. You know, I understand the fork could be cracked, blah, 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 blah. So there you go there. Um, but even for grand, I want to know if the fork's not cracked because getting a secondhand fork could be a bit hard and getting the matchy matchy. Same colors can be an issue as well. I don't mind if the forks are mismatched colors, but it definitely makes the uh, the bike the, the value of the bike a lot less. Let's one last one here. Oh, these old specialized are great. This one is two thousand bucks. <laughs> you dropped it from two to the two thousand bucks. Absolutely dreaming. So we've got a mint condition old tarmac from two thousand and five, six, probably five. You know, one oh five. Oh man, it's hilarious. It, what's this bike worth? In Adelaide, it would get three to five hundred bucks. Three to five hundred dollars Canadian max. Mavic Axioms, which are pretty bulletproof, but very, very heavy and you know, sturdy riding. Absolutely dreaming. Um, yeah, bike is in mint condition. 
but yeah, 15, 15, 16 year old bike, 15 years, 14 years old, 2000 bucks, <laughs> dreaming, man, dreaming. And that's why it hasn't sold. These people, I don't, I don't understand, you know, imagine trying to sell a mobile phone from 15 years ago for 2000 bucks. You know, this bike would have cost about 2000 bucks brand new. You know, 15 years ago, imagine trying to sell your, your iPhone from just 2014 for a, a grand. Like, what was it signed by Steve Jobs and it's brand new in box? Okay, maybe. But dreaming, man. Used mobile phones, used bikes, unless there's some sort of insane collector's items. Even then, they're not worth much, um, as much as people think. Anyway, that's the video. Not hating, just saying. If you want more information, go check out duringrod.com. The deals are there. Negotiate. Know what you're looking for. Know what potential flaws the bike could be. And if you want that one-on-one coaching, join my coaching group. It will guide you through step-by-step step to get the best bike for your money, for your safety, for your performance. Thanks for watching.